video. <laughs> now what, Teresa? Sandra Dewart, coming up next. It's 547, time for your business 911. For that, we bring back a uh, policy analyst for the Chamber of Commerce. This is Sandra Dewar. You've got big plans for the weekend. I do. I'm flying out to PEI to be part of the federal or the Canadian Chamber of Commerce AGM, is where we set our federal policy agenda. So we like to call it the Parliament of Ooh. Business. Yeah. So what that all means is we'll be dealing with this lovely book here, which is 70 policy resolutions oh, on everything under the sun and lots of reading for me. But what we're talking about is there's some policy resolutions for airports. Uh -huh. So I know there's lots of talk about what's going on at the Peterborough Airport and it's growing and wants to grow and wants to expand. So these policy resolutions may not work for them right now, but you, you set them in place, you make it so that the smaller airports can grow, can do more things, have more access to capital funding, all of those sorts of things. So when Peterborough gets there, it's already in the books, so, what, so to what, speak. The, when I think of the Peterborough Airport right now, I, I think of Porter out in uh, the island in Toronto. Is this something that the airport is gunning towards to, to being something like well, that? Well, it can be anything. Like They have a, a wide range of business. It's not just passenger flight. That's a whole different right. aspect of it. And they're growing in that. So if they're growing in the passenger flight, what are some of those subsidiary businesses that could be coming in there that, because airports are managed federally, right? So that's kind of where we go with these policies. What are all of those businesses around an airport that we can support through good policy, such as capital improvement programs, if they have buildings that they need to put up and that sort of thing, or runway improvements, or resurfacing runways, etc. Do they have a Tim Hortons yet? No. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, we also have some policy resolutions that we're talking about that deal with innovation and creating, again, more policies for innovation to grow, for businesses dealing in innovation to grow, to commercialize those ideas. So that's really exciting. And then another big one that we're pushing from Ontario's point of view is how to deal with the incentives that are being kind of brought to businesses to move elsewhere and to move to, say, the states or just cross over the border. So all of that is in here. Well, after your weekend, we look forward to an update. And after all, <laughs> yes. the, the short version, though. The short of, version. As opposed to this one. You don't want me to read this that for is, you? <laughs> Sandra Dewey, Business 911. We have more with Daily Footnotes coming up next. Business 911 is brought to you by Nexicom Unlimited Internet. We have what it takes.